Hello students, this is Mr. Osborne helping you with um, lesson 17, specifically numbers 5 and 6. Now these are the last two problems on that lesson. We'll start by looking at number 5 where we have Xavier who could swim at a rate of 5 thirds meters. Now we're not going to divide these two, we're going to recognize that 3 thirds would have been a full meter a second. Xavier could do 5 thirds, he could do more than a meter per second. But 5 thirds, even though this is some improper fraction, this given rate is equivalent to the ratio 5 to 3. So in A, when it asks what is the ratio of the number of meters per second, then it's 5 to 3. And when we have an equivalent ratio, equivalent to some kind of a rate that we're trying to figure out, then we know we could do like a double number line or some kind of a ratio chart. So if we look at the second one, Xavier is trying to qualify. He has to, he must hit 100 meters in 55 seconds. Well, we know he can hit 5 meters in 3 seconds. So we can start our chart by labeling it meters per second. And then we could say that, well, he does go 5 meters in 3 seconds. So how could he get to 100 meters? Well, it's nice that 5 can multiply times 20 to make 100. And if we multiply times 20 on this side, then we need to multiply times 20 on this side. So 3 times 20 is 60. Now we can answer our question. Will Xavier be able to qualify? The answer is no, right? See, if you look at the chart, he goes in 100 meters, it takes him 60 seconds. But it said he needs to hit 100 meters in 55 seconds. So if you, you actually should, I'm not going to write it all, but you should explain why, right? Please explain that Xavier could only hit the 100 meters in 60 seconds, not 55. He's, he's too slow. Five seconds, too slow, right? But maybe on C, maybe he could qualify for the 200 meter. So how, how does he have to do in the 200 meter? Well, he has to do it in 130 seconds. So I know that in the first chart we had meters to seconds. We learned that he could go 100 meters in 60 seconds. Now I have to double that to 200 meters. So how do you double 100 to 200? Well, you multiply it by 2, right? So therefore, the 60... Sorry, it's so sloppy. The 60 needs to multiply by 2 also. So 60 times 2 is 120. Did he qualify this time? He was supposed to rate, um, <clears throat> he was supposed to swim 200 meters in 130 seconds. He swam it 200 meters in 120. 120 seconds? Yes, he ran he swam fast enough. So say he did and explain why. And now let's look at the last problem. The last problem tells us about apples per dollar here. It says there's a dollar twenty-five for one apple. And the first question says, what's the ratio? Well, the ratio is exactly that, right? It's one dollar twenty-five cents per one apple. So that's the ratio that sets up our problem. And then the next question tells us there's this girl who wants to spend $10 on apples. She can't spend more than that. She has a $10 bill. How many apples can she buy? Well, we know we could start kind of off our chart labeling it, right? Saying that on one side we could have the amount of money she spends to the apples she spends on the other side. Now, you're going to probably be able to have a lot more room but I'm going to go ahead and start by saying she has 125 for one apple. And I'm going to kind of make an estimate. I'm going to say, what if she buys five apples? Well, $1.25 times five means she could have five apples for $6.25. So can she afford that? Yeah, she can. So let me let me do some more. Let me try a dollar twenty-five times eight. So what's times 
8 and times 8. Well, 1 times 8 is 8. And on this side, $1.25 times 8 is $10. Exactly. Change to my pen here. Sorry. So it's exactly $10. So how many apples can she buy? She can buy 8 apples. Okay? Now at the end it says Christian has $6. He wants to spend it on apples. How many apples can Christian buy? Well, here's the thing. Didn't I just discover that if I multiplied by 5, I would get $6.25? So can Christian walk in and buy 5 apples if he only has $6? No, he can't because it costs $6.25. He doesn't have a quarter more. So in the story, you know he can't buy five, so he must be able to buy four apples, right? And you could test it out and say four apples costs whatever. 125 times four, what would that be? Five dollars? Four apples cost five dollars, but six, but five apples cost six dollars twenty-five cents. All right? I hope that helped you solve those problems. If you have more questions about ratios and rates, then please talk to Mrs. Steinerland or myself. Thanks.